ladies and gentlemen, The Golden Collar, the canine world's answer to Hollywood's Oscar and symbol of quadrupedal excellence in the performing arts, monument to the loyalty, dedication, courage, and compassion of man's best friend. We are assembled here to pay tribute to that rarest of breeds, the recipients of the Golden Collar Award, those wonderful Hollywood hounds who are Disney's greatest dog stars. Oh, uh, gosh, I'm an actor. You wait right here. We'll tell you when to come in. Lights, camera, action. Quiet! You can be a Hollywood hound. If you face the barks and the bites, you can climb to the heights while your fans wait around. Like a king, you hold out your paws when you hear the applause. You'll be petted, you'll be crowned. You can be a Hollywood hound. Wag your tail and steal every scene when you walk on the screen. How the music will sound when they put your footprints in the ground. You'll be the hit of the nation, a great inspiration to every kennel and pound. You might be bigger than Pluto. <laughs> The first recipient of the Golden Collar was also Walt Disney's first Academy Award-winning dog, the irrepressible Pluto. As anyone can see, Pluto has come a long way since this, his debut in 1931. <laughs> to no one's surprise, Mickey and Pluto became box office champions and made more hunting pictures together. And to no one's surprise, they still haven't got it right. What Pluto does manage to get right, however, are the incredible predicaments in which he places himself. Yes, when it comes to attracting trouble, Pluto is a magnet. For years now, Donald and Pluto have been competing for audiences' laughter. Of course, they both win, but Pluto usually manages to get in the last lick. We may question his ability as a watchdog, but no one could ever question Pluto's courage. And he has a medal to prove it. Pluto, public hero number one, and winner of the Academy Award for this brilliant portrayal of the age-old conflict between good and evil. Pluto's fans know they can count on him. His finer instincts always win out. And when all is said and done, that's what makes a truly great Disney dog star. And so we present Pluto, the original winner of the Golden Collar. Pluto's success has paved the way for other animal actors to follow in his paw tracks and star in films of their own. Some of these, like Copper, started out at their most lovable as puppyhood stars. Hey there, Copper, what you sniffing at? In the puppy category, though, the golden collar goes not to one, but to 101 Dalmatians, or 6,223 spots. Don't miss. Yes, they seem to live or die according to the ups and downs of their wonder dog. Or thunder always wins. I don't care how you kill the little beast, but do it! And so, for capturing the bad guys, as well as the hearts of moviegoers the world over, it's a puppy's golden collar for 101 Dalmatians. But unlike human actors who have special stuntmen to perform dangerous tricks for the movie camera. Bring your gun! That's Mama, what's the matter with? A stunt dog's life isn't always so dramatic. Sometimes he gets to play it strictly for laughs. And often his human co-stars get to go along for a ride. Sometimes the funniest dog stars aren't dogs at all. Look what happens when the local canine fraternity adopts a strange creature with a shiny coat and flippers. Many dogs possess human qualities, 
But only in the wonderful world of Disney could a human being actually become a dog, as one did in this classic, The Shaggy Dog. Twenty years have passed, and that young man has grown up and is running for political office against a corrupt city government when that dog business starts happening all over again. You can vote those people out of office and bring back respectability to this community. For bravery and comedy beyond the call of duty, the Golden Collar has been awarded to those magnificent Disney stunt dogs. So far, we've been paying tribute to the top dogs, those stars who get first billing. But what about the others? The Golden Collar Award turns the spotlight on them, the best supporting Disney dogs. It is said that playing a villain is the greatest test of an actor's ability. If this is true, then Big Bad Butch certainly passes the test. A gold collar to Butch for the best bully on the block. Here's Fifi, the most beautiful dachshund ever to admire herself in a mirror. Fifi's charms have a powerful effect on the male of the species. She makes a fellow feel as if he's floating on air. Golden collar winner, canine sweetheart, Fifi. As the title implies, the Aristocats is indeed a film about cats. So to stir things up a bit, the Disney storytellers put a couple of dogs in the plot. Those hounds not only steal a motorcycle from the crook, but they just about steal the whole doggone movie as well. Napoleon and Lafayette, golden collar recipients for best supporting comedy team. In the category of unsung heroes, perhaps the most unsung of all is Bruno. Why, some people don't even remember that it was Bruno who rescued Cinderella in time for her to be rediscovered by that other lucky dog, the handsome prince. So Cinderella tried on the slipper and lived happily ever after with her Prince Charming. And it was all thanks to her dog, good old Bruno, our most unsung hero. Next, our panel of experts has awarded the golden collar to one of Disney's true superstars. But unfortunately, the star declined the honor. Why, you ask? Because he's goofy. You see, Goofy started out over 50 years ago as Dippy Dog. Just another face in the crowd at a Mickey Mouse review. Mickey liked the way he laughed, brought him into his family of friends, and made him a star. From the start, he had a comic genius. Goofy knew how to get a laugh. In fact, it all came so easily that he could practically sleepwalk through a performance. <laughs> Not me. Goofy's talents blossomed. He accepted ever more demanding roles and strangely enough, went from being just another funny dog to being more like a man. And in time, he came to represent all the hilarious problems of being human. He became Mr. Everyman. And so, because he thinks he's really a man, Goofy has disqualified himself. Well, who needs him anyway? There are lots more where he came from. And that's because those Disney artists have created many other dog characters who think and act like people. And it's these special human traits that make Lady and the Tramp so endearing. What a dog. Yeah. Tell us about it, Peg. What a dog. They may be dogs, but to us humans, they could be Romeo and Juliet. And we know that Tramp will risk his life to rescue his lady love. Lady and the Tramp. Most lovable winners of the Golden Collar. Best friend. And you're mine too, Todd.
And we'll always be friends forever, won't we? Yeah, forever. Lady and the Tramp were more than friends. So were the Fox and the Hound, even though they were natural-born enemies. Only at first, they didn't know it. We're still friends, aren't we? Todd, those days are over. I'm a hunting dog now. But as they grew older, instinct took over, and their conflict grew. Finally, they must decide to fight each other or save each other from a common enemy. Todd! And for them, friendship proves to be the strongest instinct of all. And so the newest winner, Copper, takes his place in the golden circle of fame. as part of perhaps the greatest lineup of dog stars in motion picture history. Canine heroes. Every one a winner. Each one touching us in a special way. It's a love affair that's been going on since the very first dog met his very first best friend. <laughs>